Dad says how many people had to take their John boat out this morning, <laughs> <laughs> or their bass tracker, or whatever, you know. <laughs> I think one of y'all should get this this morning. I might. He said he might. I think I think one of y'all should get. It. Don't squeeze it too hard. Cause we'll break it. <laughs> Something For my adult friends that want to follow along this morning, if you want to go ahead and turn your Bible, it's going to be the book of Mark, chapter number 16, verse 15. That's Mark 16, verse 15. A box. A box? A tiny little cardboard box. It's a paper box. Paper box. Box. I'm not guessing a paper box because you can't even stand up a paper box. It's just in the bag. <laughs> it's probably a paper box. Paper box. <laughs> <laughs> it's a paper so we got three paper boxes. Part, um, those like white, all that milk. It's like it's a paper box. Charlotte, you're going to want to get a paper box. No, it's not a paper box. Everybody said paper box. <laughs> you're it's gonna, not a paper you're, box. You're going to want to guess paper box. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I don't want you to be the only I'm, one out. I'm thinking it's maybe one of those like thingamajiggies where you have the clothes in at stores where you like get the clothes in for. I think that's I it. don't go clothes shopping often, so I don't know what you're talking about. We get clothes for Christmas and then we get It's a paper box. It's a paper box. It's a paper box. box. It's a paper box. box. It's a paper box. It's a paper box. It's a paper box. It's a paper box. That's a Bojangles box. She's saying, I think there's probably a biscuit box. It's a Bojangles box. And, and it's, our, our item this morning is kind of humorous, but I, I, want, I want you guys to listen. I'm going to be serious this morning. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a serious topic this morning. And, you know, we've been doing Sermon in Sack for a while. And we've talked about, you know, uh, we talked about listening to God. We've talked about control. We've talked about the devil fishing for us. Uh, this morning, I want to talk about the Great Commission. Is what I'm going to talk about. And in our, our scripture this morning, Mark chapter 16, verse 15, he says, And he said unto them, Listen, that first word. Anybody want to say it? Go. He said, Go. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And I want you guys to know this morning, what's Bojangles' slogan? Anybody know? Bow time. Spicy chicken. It ain't bow time. It's go, go time. time. Amen. It's go time. That's go what time I got. I, I took a sharpie time. and I scribbled that B out right there and I put a G on there. It's go time this morning. Amen. John 4, 35 says this morning, it says, Say ye not that there are four months, and then cometh harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. I, I want you guys to look at me this morning, being serious. Our time in this world this morning is running out, and it's very soon to be over with. And the adults, that, that goes for us too. Yeah. Right now, right now, there's a country attacking and seizing another country this morning before our eyes. I read yesterday how the scientists cannot explain why so just South Carolina keeps having so many earthquakes. It's all lining up before our very eyes. And these things must come to pass as much as we might not like them and we might not enjoy them, Brother John was praying it the other night. You know, these things are going on in the world, and we don't have to like them, but they must come to pass before Jesus can come back. Right. Yeah. And so the Great Commission for us, and you guys included, is to spread the gospel to every person we can before that time is up. If you guys don't share the gospel with your friends and family, if you don't tell them what Jesus has done for you, who's going to? Who's going to? Who's going to? Amen. Now, don't answer out loud. I don't want you to answer out I just want you to think this morning. And for my adult friends, too, I want you to think, too. When's the last time you told someone about Jesus Christ and what he's done for you and in your family and life? That hit me hard. I'll be Amen. honest. Amen. I, I, I was eating a Bojangles piece of chicken and got to thinking about that. And I was like, man, I was... Our time is running out. Yeah. How good. eager it's are good. we to get other people in before right. the time's up? Amen. Yeah. Amen. There will be people that get left behind when Jesus comes back if we ain't going and telling them. It's go time this morning. Amen. And if someone's thinking, you know, this was a really serious topic for these kids, you know, it's something it's something they need to know and to be taught. Amen. Because even though they're kids, they might be the one person who can reach that one person Amen. that nobody else can. Right. So that, that's what I got for us this morning, not just for the children, but for the adults too. I want us to get a good grasp that 
you know, time is running out. It is go time this morning. It's, it's time to get serious about the things of God. You know, these things are coming to pass. It's, it's time to get serious and tell people about Jesus. Amen. Good stuff. I'm going to close out and move right along.